Oh yeah, what is that? That looks like a zucchini or squash. There's all kinds of things in here. your pants. Hey, what's up? It's Sunday, April 24th, 2022. My name is Crystal. Welcome. We just got back from going to Lowe's. It's very early Sunday morning. Steve's back at cutting up some of the trees that we just recently had taken down. We got eight bags of bark nuggets and 10 bags of the pine bark mulch. Hopefully I'll be able to finish a lot of the stuff around the garden and have some extras left over for when we add some more pathways in to the rock garden. I was up last night thinking about how to generate more of our own compost here so that I don't have to buy as many of these supplies next year and I think I came up with a solution. Oh, now I have to get down. <laughs> So I was cutting some of the tree apart and it got stuck so I bent over and this happened. <laughs> you ripped your pants? I ripped my pants. Oh no. I'll have to sew, sew them for you. I'm not going to do much more because I feel like I'm just going to end up hurting my back. So I'm going to cut up some of these. Then I'm going to get the quad, get the trailer going, then just pull those up. Start bringing things up. Away from the road. I put down some of the bags of bark nuggets. I think I have a couple left that I'm just gonna hold on to. But I really like that one bag goes really far and I I love the way it looks up against the rocks too. I, I just really like the bark nuggets a lot. We have in the past like laid down our own big <laughs> chunks of bark in the garden, but it doesn't look the same as this stuff. And then I scooped up some of the other pine mulch that was over here because I'm frugal and <laughs> I didn't want to just cover it up so I can use it somewhere else. So I'm thinking about doing a compost bin. We have enough wood and things like that. We want to have our own supply of things so that we don't have to go out and buy stuff. I mean, the goal is eventually to make as much of everything as possible. We need a big composter. We have the food compost bin, but we need a a big bin for things like the chicken and goat manure and like the yard garbage, you know, things like leaves and broken pieces of wood and stuff like that. The stuff that I just filled one of our garden beds with is what I'm thinking. So I think today I'm going to actually make one so we have it and it's there. And as we start raking this stuff up, we're gonna be putting another garden bed over here, but I haven't made it yet. We need a spot to put stuff like this and the chicken manure and the goat house manure and things like that. The thought is that we have a lot of old pallets that really aren't that great for stacking things on anymore, but they're still somewhat intact. So I'm thinking of just making a box of with pallets. I'm not sure if I want to put some sort of lid on it yet, but at least get the location set up and the box in place so that as we start doing stuff like this, we don't have random piles everywhere. We'll have it in one spot. Because we do have a couple different areas on our property where we're filling in with old wood and broken down brush and everything that we're clearing. We do have spots, but it'll be really nice to have a big compost bin specifically for this that will break down and we'll be able to use it in the garden. Hello chickens. Originally I was thinking I was gonna put the large compost bin behind the goats. I think I'm gonna put it over here. It's easy to get to. We can always move it. This is where eventually we would like to put a barn. I got three pallets over there. I found this old tarp. It was underneath a pile of stuff outside, so I grabbed that. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that yet. <laughs> and I also have here some 
rusty U posts from whoever lived here before. We used them in the garden for a couple years and we took them out yesterday. They're not 100% intact here. I might put these in the ground just to give some stability, like put it in between the, pan the pallets. And then I grabbed a couple lockers and stuff just so I can clear out over here a little bit. So I have two pallets that are the same size and then one that's a little different. So I'm gonna put the one that's different in the back. Yeah, I think like that. I used the Yucky U posts. Just have them sitting inside here, right here. And that way it's giving it some stability. So this is pretty crooked. It is going significantly downhill. And generally speaking, when you're making a compost bin long term, having it be level is probably best. But I'm not really concerned with that right now. I just wanted to get a spot here. I. I will move these again. I moved this compost bin this year. I'm gonna go see. I have a couple more U posts. Use those to stabilize this a little bit more and then maybe grab some zip ties. And the reason why I don't wanna screw them together is because I want it to be easy to disassemble. I want it to be easy to take apart when I go to move it. Do we go get our first contribution? You can. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna hold off on the tarp and possibly a front door here. We see how it goes. You know, having a designated spot like this of stuff that I will be able to use in the garden is, is a good step. I've been really bad with recording what we're doing today. We just cut these cedar logs that we had gotten from Steve's parents' house in half. Practiced a little bit using my little tiny electric chainsaw, taking some of the knobs off. And then Steve used his chainsaw to cut them in half going down the middle. And I have another cedar bed here that I made from branches and things. And I'm probably going to grow zucchini and summer squash in this bed. Oh yeah, what is that? That looks like a zucchini or squash. There's all kinds of things in here. Just gonna let it go and see what happens. That looks like it could be a squash or a pumpkin. And then that, those look like, that looks like tomatoes. That's crazy. Well, right, remember, been, we threw compost in here. Yeah. I've, I've been ripping them up. That's okay. All right. Isn't it funny how things just come up? <laughs> we try so hard to have a controlled environment here of growing and things are just going to do what they're going to do. Last year we had a ton of tomatoes growing out of our compost bin. That's what these seedlings look like. So I'm curious to see what those are. I see an eggshell. See you later. See you later. I'll just let them go for now and we'll see what happens. I can always move them. Yeah, things I'd like to get done this week, um, it would be fertilizing the garlic, starting seeds indoors like uh, melons, cucumbers, zucchini and squash. The things that I direct sowed last year that didn't do good. And the year prior I started indoors, did well when I had started them indoors. Last year I direct sowed them and they didn't do as well. So some of the days this week are supposed to hover around 35-ish, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We still have a threat for frost, definitely well into mid-May. <laughs> Thumbs up. A bit. <laughs> there you go. So that'll do it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, <laughs> thumbs up it. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>